Hey. Hey. How's it going? Morning. Are you ready? I don't know. A couple days left, huh? Yeah. It's insane to think we're not going to be here much longer. Are you going to miss this place? I don't know. I think I will. Yeah. We were really never into this place because we got on board like at a later date. Yeah. But I'm sure a lot of people that have been here for many years are going to really miss Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Anyway, let's go to work. Let's go. Frost Science Museum has served the public and the community of Miami for 50 years. El Museo Frost Science ha servido al público y a la comunidad de Miami por más de 50 años. This planetarium hosts many scientific events, discussions and demonstrations. Este planetario ha sido recinto para una gran variedad de eventos científicos, debates y encuentros. As we venture inside, you can see the planetarium's centerpiece, one of only five projectors operating today. Cuando nos trasladamos adentro podemos ser testigos de su pieza central, el proyector original por más de 50 años, aún funcionando hoy. In the bird sanctuary, caretakers see that the animals are ready for their new homes downtown with an ocean view. En el santuario de las aves, cuidadores profesionales se hacen cargo de estas especies y las preparan para su nueva casa en downtown con vista. Back inside, the coral tanks will supply the new museum's saltwater tanks with color and life. Estos bancos de coral proveerán la vida y el color de los tanques de agua salada del nuevo museo. In addition to coral, ocean fish will be transported and ready for the opening day. Además, estos peces tienen cuidado día y noche aquí, antes de ser transportados para la próxima gran inauguración. Dude, you know, am I realizing that we're almost done? Oh. Look at the walls, they're almost empty. It's crazy, it's true. Like a year, year and a half ago, it was like wallpaper with brainstorming and drawings and crazy images. Well, that means that now everything that was here on the wall is actually on the new side. The Oculus is already installed. I think the F5 for the Fellas to the Stars Gallery is being installed like in a week or two. Uh, we are getting there. It's crazy. Install teams are all in the galleries installing equipment. It's pretty much, it's pretty much there. Crazy to think. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wrap up and I'll see you over there. OK, I'm finishing a list here and I'll, I'll meet you there. OK. One of the most wonderful things and unique things about our aquarium is like how well connected it is to South Florida, to the region that is actually surrounding the aquarium. What we're trying to do here is to bring attention to the different ecosystems that we have around us. We want to educate people with our program to let them know how important these ecosystems are and the things that we can do in order to make sure that they remain the way they are. I'm walking through the edge of a Gulf Stream Aquarium. In this aquarium, we're going to be highlighting the nature of the Gulf Stream. We want to bring the Gulf Stream to our visitors. The Gulf Stream is this current of water out of the coast of Florida that goes up north through the Atlantic. The aquarium will hold a lot of sharks that we're hoping it will be everyone's favorite. A few examples of these ecosystems are the Gulf Stream that we have right here out of the coast of Florida, but also the mangroves that we have around our coast and the beaches themselves. And if you go inland, we find the Everglades that are actually responsible for most of the fresh water that we have here in South Florida. This is just to touch a little bit on, on the kind of things that we want to educate you about. One of the coolest things about this aquarium, other that it has like half a million gallons of water, is that that water is actually coming from the bay next door. So the fish in the aquarium, the fish that we will have here, will be almost home. <laughs> 